guys. I hope you're all doing well. I miss you. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes to show you my garden that we planted this past week um, for your science class. So, um, this process actually started about a year ago. Be no, I didn't plant those a year ago. We started with, um, we would shovel the horses out there. See Simba and Luna? We would shovel their manure and the cow manure, and we would bring all of that manure down here and put it where we wanted to create a garden. You can see a plot right here where we've been putting it for a year. Right here, you see the plants popping up there. Um, and then we have a raised bed here to help the water drain out when it rains heavy. Um, and we've been putting the manure here also. And it has been giving, it has been composting for the last year. Um, and then a week ago, we started planting vegetables. So in this row, we have either spinach or lettuce. You can see it's popping up already. And again, we just planted this a week ago. And here, can you guess? My daughter painted a rock. So we knew that these were carrots. And then here, this one is doing really well. This, I believe, is spinach. It's either spinach or lettuce. That one's really good. I can't wait to eat all of this. And then here we've got, I think, carrots again. These, I can't believe how much these grew. We started to see them pop up after just three days after we planted them. Um, and those are beans, what will be beans. You can see right here. And then, these rows we planted later because we didn't want to plant everything all at once because we'd be getting a lot of food all at once. We wanted to stagger it. So I think these are beans also. And then these, these are beets. See the purple? Those are beets. And you can't see these rows yet. Maybe just a little bit right there. And we've been watering them every morning. Yeah, can't see anything in those. But if you look over here, this one, I don't know, we must have dropped a seed there by accident. This one you can start to see pop up. I'm not sure what that is. Clara planted these. I have to ask her what that one is. You can see one popping up right there under the soil. I think it's either squash or zucchini. And this one you can see also just starting to come out. Here, we planted these in the beginning, a week ago. And this is squash. There's more squash. She painted a rock to look like squash. There's zucchini. She painted a rock to look like zucchini mounds of that and um, Gunner planted watermelon on these three. He planted those later. They have not come up yet. And then over here we have our apple trees and around them we planted tomatoes. They have not come up yet either because we planted them just a couple days ago. 
Here I planted echinacea. Let me see if I can find. Well, that might be that might be one coming up. Echinacea is a plant you can use it to make tea. growing over here, I think, uh, grapefruit, a lemon, oranges, and then let me show you our chickens. They're all hens except for one rooster. I'll show you our rooster. If we have any eggs we've been getting about six or seven eggs a day oh yep you can see one two three four five six seven none in those and there's one by itself over here on this side we have um small nest boxes because we have quails on the outside here let me show you the quails My husband built this pen and we put a bunch of sticks and everything and logs in here to make it look like their environment. Just take a couple seconds and listen to them. to clean out that water. Notice how some of them have um, white on their head and some of them are light brown on their head. Uh, one is female, one is male. I forget which is which. I'd have to look at it. I think, the f I think the females are the light brown and the males are the white. Usually males stand out more than females. They, when they go to sleep at night, oh, they're scared of me. When they go to sleep at night, they usually huddle together. I'm trying to focus it. See them through there. And I forgot to tell you, um, when I was showing you the chickens, we actually have about 15 eggs in an incubator inside. And we're hoping to get 15 baby chicks in about 21 days. I think that's how long it takes for them to hatch. You can actually, um, at night, we've been turning the lights off and if you put a flashlight up to their egg in the incubator, you can, you can see how the chick is growing inside the egg. I'll try to take another video if you can see it in the dark and show you how the eggs are growing and what it looks like inside, hopefully. Okay. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care. Spend as much time as you can outside.